resonance. For those throughout Lumen, those who carry them are few and far in between. A harmonic convergence of soul and song, it grants the user a power unique just to them. But what is a resonance, and how do pathfinders and notable figures in game alike obtain them? So let us dive into what a resonance truly is. Resonance is a manifestation of your soul resonating with the song, showing true harmony within. It is a reflection of the experiences your character has had, your ambitions, failures, hopes, dreams, down to the very core of who you are as a being within Deep Woken. A resonance is unique to each person who unlocks it and is bound to its user. Even after the user dies, nobody else can use it. Now this begs the question, why does Chaser have so many bells? And I think that the simplest answer is that he collects trophies from those he defeats who has resonances, basically a very sick version of severing someone's resonance from their owner forever. But now with Pathfinders roaming the world over, in your journeys, you see only a select few with resonance, signified by the little bell at their hip. But how did each notable character obtain their unique powers, such as Akira or the Duke? Well, resonances are acquired through a very specific manner. Those within Lumen are not often faced with much mortal danger, choosing peaceful lives. But for the rare few who join various organizations, such as the Divers, or become a lone Pathfinder, being pushed to the brink of death can form an unconscious connection with the murmur of your soul and the song. This connection allows your soul to resonate with the song in an attempt to save yourself. You swear a vow to not die in this moment, lest what remains of you be fragmented into the void. But after discovering your resonance and living to explore another day, you can begin to hone your new power in different ways depending on what power you may have unlocked on, based on your personality. The Duke seems to use his powers to create life from stone making a seemingly unending army of constructs, whereas Akira's bell seems to corrupt him at the cost of his life force, but swiftly ending any of those who interfere with his little projects. This connection to your soul cannot be altered, not through normal means anyways. Perhaps the Temple of Hearts, where Yun Chol resides, can assist you in altering the very core that holds you together. And another case of resonance alteration lies within the Duke's manner. His resonance was once much weaker before the fall of Seltor, However, through tinkering with his Forge of Sin, he has now improved his resonance in ways unimaginable. But at what cost? But now we must bring our attention high above to the surface of Lumen, towards the stars. What is left of the Celestial City rains down on us, often bringing small pieces of valuable knowledge with it, and occasionally a very peculiar meteor will fall down, and upon getting closer, you can feel your soul harmonizing. What could this phenomena be, you may ask? Perhaps the meteor is a special tool capable of helping you resonate with the song in a more peaceful manner, compared to a situation with potentially deadly consequences. But regardless, it serves as a mentor of your very soul should it require teaching. That is provided you can defeat the uh, guard that watches over it. But who knows why these guards watch over what seems to be an incredibly valuable and priceless artifact. But for now, that is all this story has to tell. Come back next time for more lore, and subscribe if you wish to see more added to the lore archives.